My name is Daniel Christoph and today we are ranking the most popular front lever exercises from the worst to the best. The system that we are using today for ranking the exercises red means the most effective exercise, green means the least effective exercise. Ok, let's start with the first exercise we have front lever with resistant band. As you can see the resistant band is on the feet and also on the lower back. I like this exercise so much because it's really good to fix uh, your form not only from your lower back but also with the retraction as you know in the front lever we are using the retraction it's the opposite side of the planche so this one i can say it's pretty effective because it's really easy to fix in the right form so you can train the front lever in the right way maximum points for this one i'm also using the band in the same system like this we move on to the next exercise we have advanced tuck front lever advanced tuck front lever is also one of the exercises that i'm using in my routines and my daily activation routines to prepare myself for the next days this exercise is good because it's much harder than just the normal tuck front lever and this one can be practiced also from the beginners also for intermediate is perfect and for advanced athletes also for a professional athletes this can be really effective because it's the perfect position that you can fix your retraction in the front lever. Retraction in the front lever is the most important thing. Why? We give the answer because when you do the retraction, the distance between you and the bar is less. Like that you can pull much faster and much easier and you can save strength for the future elements and combos. This one I'm also rating on top. We move on to the third exercise, we have back extensions. So this one is pretty effective for the lower back and you can gain a lot of strength for it because in the front lever it's really really important when you do the holds to not lose the form from the lower back. There's people that lose the form from the legs, from the feet, from the lower back and also from the back, from the retraction. They lose, they drop down to the protraction, but especially for the lower back this exercise is really good but it's not overall exercise that, can, that you can gain strength in the front lever this is specific exercise that you can gain strength in the lower back but it's good one important point so we're gonna put it here something really important that i want to add when you're learning the front lever it's really important to learn and understand where is your weak point because for example if you have weak point in your lower back you can use this exercise to fix this thing and after that your level will be increased automatically if you have weak point in the retraction you can do a lot of exercise to fix that strength there and after you understand the weak points and you fix them your front lever level will just grow. Okay, the next exercise that we have is just normal plank. I don't think there's something super important from this element that you can learn about the front lever, but it's good just to stay in that straight body line position like in the front lever and to gain some strength in the lower back. So this one, not really effective and specific one, we're gonna put it here. Next exercise that we have is regular pull-ups. One of the most important exercises when you talk about front lever, not only for the beginners, but for people that have intermediate level, also advanced level, because it's a basics that you can a lot of strength uh, on your back shoulder and also on the back. This one, one of the most useful. We're gonna put it on the top for sure because even athletes like me are doing pull-ups. If it's too easy for you, you can do it with some weights also to increase the strength. And after that, the front lever and the front lever pull-ups and presses will be much, much easier for you when you have that strength. So we move to the next exercise that we have, straddle front lever. I'll explain you a little bit more about this one. This is really important progression for the front lever because after the tuck front lever, you have advanced tuck front lever. And the difference between the advanced tuck and the full front lever is huge. It's so much. And there is one specific progression that you need to do if you want to reach the full front lever. And this is the straddle front lever. So this one is extremely important. We're gonna put it 
here. And one more important thing, if you can do, for example, full front lever with bad form and you're losing the form and the retraction after two to three seconds, you can easily open the legs and continue the hold after that and will be a lot, a lot more effective. So the next exercise that we have is front lever with bands on the feet. So personally, I don't really like this exercise. I prefer to use the band on my lower back or also on the feet and the lower back but only on the feet I don't really like it because you can add a lot more good exercises with the resistant band instead of this one. So this one, we'll put it here. So one more reason I don't really like this exercise with the band on the feet only is because it's changing the degrees between the arms and your body and like that it's totally kicking you out of the right form of the front lever. Okay, so the next exercise that we have is L-sit. Nothing special to say about the L-sit, it's just an exercise that you can gain some strength your, in your core and that can be effective for the front lever, but again, nothing special, I'll put it here. Okay, the final exercise that we have is dragon flag or dragon flag presses, rises. So this exercise is super important and super good if you want to gain overall strength on your full body for the front lever because you're staying in the absolutely same position like the front lever if you want to just stay in the form it's super good if it's much easier for you just to stay on the form you can do races or presses but the most important thing here try to save the perfect body line because it's absolutely the same like the front lever one this one is also extremely good when we talk about core strength it's making your core really really strong so overall super good exercise we move it on the top and as you can see combination on the top with the front lever with the resistant bands on the feet on the lower back advanced tech front lever pull-ups and dragon flag hold and presses races those four exercises are super good you can use it i totally recommend you this was my ranking of the most popular front lever exercises from the worst to the best hope you enjoyed if you want to see the planche version of this video you can find it on my personal channel see you over there